himself some more. Another lovely square cut. And that's gone through before. छलकते हुए सागल नहीं। I think we met at a cricket party in Calcutta. Uh, he had come to play, and of course we were all cricket mad and cricketer mad also. It was the man that I loved, and it seemed to worry everybody else that he was in a vow. Like it will be height of uh, Ayashi, and you know he was feudal, and he didn't have a nine-to-five job. Senior Nawab Sahib, whatever little I saw, he was a man who could create innings like Gavaskar. While Nawab was exactly opposite, he will go for the ball. No comparison between two styles. He was the most intelligent captain I have seen in my life. Tiger was the first captain, to my mind, who told us in no uncertain terms, "Look, fellas." We're not playing in Bombay or Madras or Punjab or Delhi or any other state. We're playing for India. Think India. My only complaint is that he was too lazy. He was too laid back. I can't imagine a captain of a side not having a kit bag of his own. You see, he would. Use somebody else's pads, somebody else's gloves. The bat is the most important element, and then he will say, "All right, like that. All right, this is all right for me." And he'll just pick it up and go in. The earliest memories I have, I think, of being really tiny, people saying, "Hello, beta, what does your father do?" And I'd say, uh, "He's the captain of India," and be very proud. Uh, I did play some cricket at university. I played one match, and he told me after that, he said, "I forbid you from playing cricket ever again." So I think I would have loved to have been there, you know, during the 70s. Basically, with both my parents, because it was a different time, and you see the stories, you see the pictures, you see the kind of life they had, the glamour combined with the simple nuances. But that era was something else. How glad the many millions of Timothys and Williams would be to capture me. From being a prince in Bhopal and and Prodi too. Oxford and Winchester and India that it was in those days, and of course playing international cricket with one eye, he was like Al Pacino to me, slightly taller version, um, and definitely better at cricket. And that's gone through for four. That's his hundred. Atori, six test hundred. He had no one eye. He had no one shoulder. He had no one thigh. He 
because he was threw out of the windscreen of the car with all those such handicaps he was still the best fielder of the era Gavin Knox was at Melbourne Don Bradman himself came in lunch time and he said young man i wish i had some shots like you what a tribute when you get older it's the mad things that you've done is what you remember no <laughs> on another occasion he took some cricketers deep into the woods suddenly there was a group of cricketers raiding the cricketer unhone ek ko pakda vijay manjri ko latka diya usko ki ye get us this kind of ransom otherwise he's going and manjrika didn't know honestly till the time he died he didn't know that this was all stage manage <laughs> and i remember him coming and telling me i've written this for you the dil na da tujhe hua kya hai aakhir is dard ki dawa kya hai next day i said feroz you know tiger has done such a wonderful thing for me feroz said you idiot woman <laughs> that's ghalib for god say for indian cricket today former indian cricket captain mansoor ali khan patodi is no more bada dukha dil hai dil tiger hamesha ke liye chhod kar chala gaya the man oozed style on the field where he was a terrific cricketer off the field the classic gentleman i i think the most important thing abba has demonstrated by example what it is to be honorable and correct and dignified and strong and silent 